Good afternoon, everyone. This is Ramona coming to you from Social Media How-Tos with Ramona. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove an admin on Facebook. The first thing you want to do is navigate to your page. So either click on the page over on the left under shortcuts or click on your profile photo in the upper right hand corner. Click on the profile there or click on see all profiles to navigate to the profile that you want to get to. So let's go ahead and get started. Click on the page name. If it prompts you to switch into the page, go ahead and click on switch. Now this will not always be the case. If you saw that prompt, you will see a switch profiles button. Go ahead and click on switch. I'm going to call that switching into the page the first scenario that you may run into. The second scenario, I'm going to show you how to get to the page this way. So in the upper right hand corner, again, click on your profile photo or logo and then click on the page. As you can see, that brought me to the business page news feed. So by default, when you click on a business page, it will bring you into the news feed. Now, once in a while, like scenario number one, it brought me directly to the page and asked me to switch into the page. And what that did was it switched it into the new page experience. OK, because this is a page that's not used that often. So it had not been switched yet into the new page experience. Yours may be already switched into the new page experience. And if it has been, it'll bring you directly to your news feed and not to the page. So I hope that makes sense. But like with all things Facebook, it can sometimes be a little complicated. From the page's news feed, go ahead and click on the page name in the upper left hand corner. If you switched into your page, you'll see this. If you did not switch into your page, you won't see this because your page is probably once again already the new page experience so go ahead and click on use page and you can switch off any of these buttons if you want now that i'm into the page and again this is the new page experience if your page looks different you might be in meta business suite or somewhere else but i'm going to go ahead and click on professional dashboard over on the left then we'll just scroll down on the left again and click on page access. And by the way, if your page doesn't look anything like this, I have a few other videos on my YouTube channel with pages that look different. So like I mentioned, Facebook is not an easy thing and some pages look different than other pages. So just so you know that if you see something different, it's not you, it's Facebook. So now that we're on the Manage and View Access page, you'll notice over on the right, you'll see me listed here as the admin or the person with Facebook Access, which is called now. They no longer call it Page Admin, by the way. So this is more like a page manager. But I'm actually the only one that has the admin role on this page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and see if I can delete myself. This is what you would normally be able to do if there was another manager. Hey, real quick, this is Ramona just jumping in here to say, do not remove yourself from this page if you are the only admin and there are no other people on the page. As you can see down below, there's a business account. The business that gave me access to this page is still there. So if you don't see any people or businesses on that page, do not remove yourself because then no one will have access to the page. You don't want that. So back to the video. Click on it anyway because Facebook sometimes, they're always changing things. So this may allow me to delete myself. So I'm going to click on these three dots and I'm going to click on remove access. And then it's going to ask me to enter my password, not the page owner's password. This is going to be my password. So if you're doing this from your account, it's asking you for your password. If you're doing this from the client account or the page owner's account, you're going to put in that person's password. Once you've entered that password, go ahead and click confirm and meet me back here. So now what that did is it allowed me 
I do believe it allowed me to remove myself, which is something new, because Facebook generally does not allow you to remove yourself if you are the only admin on the page. So what it did was it automatically brought me back to my personal profile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and check to see if I have in fact been removed from that page. So the way to find that out is to go ahead and click on your profile photo in the upper right hand corner. Next click on see all profiles. I'll scroll through to see if that page is gone. I'll click on see more profiles. For me you might not have to do this because you may only have one. And as you can see that page is completely gone. If you found this video to be helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell so that you'll receive notifications each time I post a new video. And with that, I want to say have an amazing day.